Okay, so what is going on, guys? Today I'm going to be reviewing the uh, Nerf Zombie Strike Crosscut. This blaster is a mix between um, uh, a table saw and a blaster. So what it is, basically, the main feature of this entire blaster, and probably the only reason you would ever want it, is for the little saw blade over here. And there are two triggers on this blaster. Primary trigger and a uh, chainsaw trigger thing. Um, I want to start out by saying the grip is very oversized for what it is. Like, I'm a little under, f like, 5'4", and I have pretty big hands, but then this grip is huge on me, so. It'll be pretty much, it'll be pretty comfortable for any, per I can't say the words today. This blaster will be pretty comfortable for anyone, like, of any size, really. But, yeah, um, the way you use the bra- I'm having trouble talking today, but the way you use it, uh, you use that to prime it. Then blast away. Um, yeah, this secondary trigger just needs to rev up the chainsaw. And then there's a tack rail up here for all of your tactics if you want any. But that's pretty much it. It's kind of a simple blaster. So, out for the firing demo. Oh, sorry, Boo Boo. It's my little loaf of, uh, it's my little loaf of bread for a cat. I'll set up the camera. Oh, my dart fell. I had them all like up here. I guess they all fell. Yeah, they both fell down here. Bam. Okay, now for the firing. Decent range. Not consistent. high-quality loading, if you want to be a gangster. And there goes that dart. Oh, I don't even care anymore. Uh, decent range for a blaster. Um, yeah, not much to this blaster. Anyway, it's, uh... Just about it for the uh, Nerve Zombie Strike Crosscut review. Um, decent range, uh, pretty cool chainsaw thing. Very oversized for what it is. And then it has some. It ha okay, at least it has some tactics. It has this little tack rail for some optics or something. I don't even know. But yeah, I was gonna wrap this video up, and I'll see you dudes in the next uh, Nerf review. Bye.